No one enjoys having the mood ruined. Whether you're a flowers and wine type of person or a keyboard and mouse type of person. When we jump into a game, we're all looking for a fun and smooth experience that immerses us in that digital world. We want to leave real life drama behind and have time with friends online or with ourselves. One thing that can wreak havoc on this is having low FPS or frames per second. Low FPS leads to choppy and laggy gameplay, which leads to an unenjoyable gaming experience. So what's the FPS goal we should be aiming for? Well, many people state that the best way to experience a game is for the FPS to be between 50 and 60 frames per second. Others will agree to a point, but also add that we can naturally see far more FPS, even up to 1000 frames per second, and thus we can continue to push frame rates in games more for an improved visual experience. Now it's important to note that most visuals beyond 60 frames per second won't be that noticeable unless we're seeing something dynamic. And dynamic could be a high energy, well detailed cutscene, or a game involving a large detailed world and high impact action. So what exactly gets in the way of getting the best FPS for gaming? Well, there are several points to note when it comes to this. In brief, the hertz of your monitor is important. If your monitor is 60 hertz, the most it'll be able to display is 60 frames per second. The higher the hertz of a monitor, the more FPS you'll be able to potentially see. If you're experiencing low FPS with a higher hertz monitor, there may be a need for a better GPU. After all, FPS basically measures how many images a GPU can render and how many it can display in a second. A third option would be to look at the CPU. Now this is where CPU cores is supposed to come in. From the CPU cores website, they state the following. CPU cores is a cutting edge Windows based software built by gamers, specifically for gamers, with one thing in mind, increase your FPS. CPU cores does this by micromanaging your Windows OS and non-essential applications to focus your CPU power. In the end, it's supposed to isolate and dedicate processing cores to be exclusively used by your game, while constraining the Windows services that are non-essential and known to hog CPU resources. Now at this point, it's important to note that the gameplay clips you'll be seeing are from games on Steam. It's not that we prefer to showcase games on Steam, but it's basically a requirement in order for CPU cores to supposedly work as it should. The software is sold on Steam and it automatically sees your full library of games which you can launch through CPU cores in order for the software to optimize for that game. That may sound reasonable that only Steam based games would function with this software, but it's a bit strange as the software has two specific features that are meant to optimize for games that aren't on Steam. When we attempted to use these features for games on other platforms such as Epic Store or Uplay, we only received errors that we otherwise never received through launching the games in their specific launcher or from the EXE file. When we emailed the company about these errors, we were told that CPU Cores was built specifically around Steam and that they recommend only using their software for Steam-based games. We didn't get any specific answers to why we were receiving the errors we were, or why the other features for non-Steam games were even present. In our testing, we wanted to test games that varied as much as possible from one another to give CPU cores every benefit to see if we saw an increase in FPS or not. Here are some sample clips that are without CPU cores and then with CPU cores. You can see the FPS in the upper right hand corner of your screen. As you can see, there were no noticeable changes in the FPS we were receiving. From these results, we can't recommend the software as something that you'd experience any significant impact from. Now, if you still want to test the software that touts being able to help with your FPS without having to shell out any money, there is a free software called, get this, Not CPU Cores, that you could actually look into. Now, this is a software that we have not yet tested, but there are many recommending it on Reddit. Take that for what you will. The links to both CPU cores and not CPU cores are in the description of this video for you to check out for yourself. If you've liked what you've seen and heard and want more impressions, reviews, and gameplay, make sure to like, comment on your thoughts about FPS and gaming, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything coming out from us at MindMine TV.